good morning from day four in the Disney Wish. It's a day at sea, and Carrie and I have a few things happening this morning. Well, I have a few things happening this morning. I am headed right now to Hook's Barbary for a shave, which I need badly, and then I'm gonna meet Carrie for brunch at Palo. I don't know how much I'm actually gonna vlog at Hook's uh, because I don't know if I can really have a camera record anything in there, and if I can, I'll try, but if not, I'll definitely tell you about it after it's over. On my way to Hooks, and there are definitely a lot of people here to see Captain Minnie. Good job, Minnie. And I have arrived at Hooks Barbary. Looking forward to this. Made it back to the stateroom with enough time to do a couple things before heading off to Palo. Before Palo, I wanted to just say a little bit about uh, the Hooks Barbary treatment that I got. I got a shave. Ooh, yeah, fuck. <laughs> they actually had put like a wet towel over my face, had me breathe in some kind of oil that really cleared me up, which was really nice. Oh, nice. I also, they gave me like a, I think it was like some kind of a facial with some kind of a scrub. I don't usually get facials. Have you ever had a facial? I don't think so. So then you definitely don't usually get one. No, I definitely don't usually get one. I got like this full on like scalp and facial massage. Wow. So it was really relaxing. It was about $110 plus tax and tip came out to like 130, which felt like a lot. I was on the edge about doing it or not. Carrie kept pushing me, you should do it, you should do it. He seemed like he really wanted to do it. And I, I did, so. but yeah, it's something I've never done before. I think at 5 p.m. later in the day, they open up a whiskey cabinet. Don't know if I'm gonna go back for that. Maybe at the Bayou, maybe there, I don't know. Well, I know we're gonna have some Prosecco at Palo. Yes, yep. yep. That'll be great. We are now off to Palo. Well, we got seated at Palo and we got our mimosas and coffee. We are ready to start our meal. I don't think we're gonna be uh, vlogging much during the meal this time. We've done this a lot already. So we're excited to sit down and enjoy this amazing meal. We just got back from uh, Paulo for brunch. Paulo Steakhouse for brunch, that's what it's called here on The Wish. Paulo Steakhouse is themed to Cogsworth. Enchante is themed to Lumiere. It's definitely like all Beauty and the Beast themed in that space. You have to walk through the Rose uh, Lounge to get to both. And so it's really nice to see the Rose and really nice just to see that space and made me want to just hang out there. I don't think we have time uh, because this is our last day on the cruise. If we ever get back on the Wish or probably more likely on the Treasure, hopefully we'll be able to spend a little more time there. Well, we had another incredible meal at Palo. It was so good our, and the service, like always, was amazing. We tried many, many things. Most of them we have tried before. I think we got more than we had thought we'd get. Oh man, yeah. We always don't finish everything. No. We started with the antipasta selection, which has many different kinds of meats. Yeah, we so, just got one of those this time and shared it. Yeah, which was perfect. Yeah. Um, some different cheeses, some roasted garlic, some olives, and then at the same time you get the bread selection mm. and the olive oil and vinegar and all of those flavors together are just amazing. And the pastries. Yeah, the pa well, I for me at least, I waited till I was done and that was kind of like my antipasti dessert was that almond croissant, which I'd never tried because I like almonds. I just don't like almond paste or almond flavor. One of our friends told us that is their favorite. It was really good. I mean, the croissant itself, whether it had almond in it or the almond filling inside of it or not, would have been amazing. It was really good with yeah. the coffee. Yes, mm -hmm. and then the hazelnut. Nutella, it's almost it's almost like monkey bread. It's like a pull apart bread with Yeah, it's like a sticky bun, muffin shaped thing with Nutella inside of it. It was, that was really good. Just starting off with that oh man i mean i could have been done <laughs> but we kept going and yes. going and going and going that would have made a nice like light meal it would have oh yes the celery soup yep our favorite and we both had a bowl of celery soup because you get two little pieces of sausage with it and three little croutons and i don't think that's a good thing to share because you need to have all that sausage yourself true we got one flatbread pizza and we asked our server if they could split it in half. So we got half grape gorgonzola and half margarita. And it was the best way mm -hmm. to try a few different pizzas without asking them to make two whole pizzas. Both were good. 
the grape and gorgonzola probably was the best we've ever had. And you have to put a little bit of balsamic uh, glaze on it. It's so good that way. Yeah. Uh, the margarita was good, but yeah, the, the, the grape gorgonzola was definitely better. We also got, uh, I hate saying all the things we got because it makes it sound like we ate so much food. We have bites of each. We also got the calzone, which we've never gotten before. It has the same San Marzano tomato sauce in this inside, along with prosciutto and red bell peppers. I would say the calzone was, I'm glad I tried it, but I don't ever need to try it again. Yeah, I, I would agree. The pizzas are better. We actually had four entrees and she said she'd bring two out at a time. Not counting the pizzas. Yeah, <laughs> those are not considered entrees. Those are their own course. Yes, we had the sirloin steak and the uh, mushroom ravioli. We had those two first which i'm so glad because we ended with our very very favorites which are the lasagna bolognese and the chicken parmesan so good both are amazing someday i want to come there and just get chicken parmesan i mean i'll get a few other things too and eat the whole thing yeah like just for myself because that is the very best out of all the things we tried my favorite for sure by far is that chicken parmesan it is the best flavor in the world it is so good especially when paired with that sauce and the risotto the risotto is All those flavors cooked together. to perfection the lasagna is amazing on its own as well it has that amazing like bechamel cheese sauce on top it's so good definitely the best lasagna i think i've ever had in my life and those two together are such a good bite i want to get the steak because this is this paulo this version of paulo is a steakhouse so i wanted to try it i don't know if it was too much different than the one that I got on the Magic, but it was still really good. I would love to come to Paulo Dinner on the Treasure and do dinner and get one of their really good steaks uh, for dinner sometime, at some point, maybe. Paulo Brunch does come with a um, Prosecco yeah. or a uh, Mimosa. We both had Mimosas, and then we also ordered after that, we, had, we both had a Bellini, which was really fresh and tasty. It's like a peach Mimosa. Yeah. Yeah. All right, to wrap up the meal and tie a nice bow on it, we got dessert. Of course, and we didn't get all of them this time, which was hard not to do. We had no ability to even try or sample all, I think there's six desserts total. We got the buttermilk panna cotta pot. That's probably my favorite one of all. At least that's the one I like to take my last bite of. It's so it's like fresh, fresh, refreshing and yeah. light and tasty. It's so good. We also got the warm amaretto chocolate fondant. Amaretto. Amaretto, amaretto, amaretto potato potato we really like that one but it's so rich like mm -hmm. can only handle a few bites of it but it's so good with that gelato that comes with it fudginess of the chocolate it, it's so warm and gooey good but because it's so rich that's why i'd say i like the uh the panna cotta better we also got the limoncello tort not tart tort there's a difference i guess but that one is more of like a layered cake cream cheese and a lemon curd and it's a citrus cake and then it comes with a little citrus salad on the side which is oh yeah really fresh oranges raspberries and some candied um, lemon, lemon peel. peel. Oh, that was really good. Just on their own, those are really good. And then you had a cappuccino with I, that I too. I capped off the meal with a cappuccino. It was a great way to end it with dessert. At the beginning, we had coffee all throughout the meal. Our server, Inez, was so, so great. Yeah. She uh, was from Portugal. It was fun just talking with her yeah. uh, throughout the meal and learning about her experience here on Disney Cruise Line, also a little bit about where she's from. We love doing that with our servers, at, whether it's in the main dining rooms or at Palo, just getting to know them a little bit uh, just makes the whole experience so much better. I also love how they always tell me new things that I didn't know. Like she was telling us about where they get the glassware that yeah. they use all throughout the Palo restaurant. Is it called Moreno? Glass? I can't really remember, but I guess it's the biggest uh, glass blowing place in the world for handcrafted glass. Yeah, products. it's it's like an island off of Italy. If we say any of it wrong, we're sorry. Yes. Any of the glass products they have, which are beautiful, if they have to replace them, it takes six months to get a new one. Yeah. So, so don't I, break your glasses if you go to Paula. Yeah. Just everything there is so, I mean, handcrafted and yeah. intentional and beautiful and delicious. And it didn't feel at all like the Paulos. Uh, on all the other four ships. Mm -hmm. uh, those have a, a definite like Italian theme with the polo, which is like the pole that you tie a gondola to in Venice. Yeah. This was more all about Beauty and the Beast, specifically Cogsworth. But very light theming. Very light yeah. theming, but it was very nice. Uh, a little bit more of a dark feel in there, which I like. It kind of has a calming mood to it. It was great. Yeah, we had a great time. We really like Pluto but we don't like seeing those. But we found our luggage tags uh, when we returned from Palo. I guess that means we have to get off the ship tomorrow and pack up later today. 
Not sure when we're going to do that. We can't stay on the ship forever. That would be fabulous, though, because we love cruising. Looks like they have another game of bingo happening today, which is fun for them. But Disney's already getting enough of our money this trip. <laughs> so I think we'll not play bingo this uh, cruise. Look over there. There's Goofy taking pictures with friends and Pluto. Oh, we haven't taken any pictures with characters yet this whole cruise. Oh, there's Chippendale out there. Oh my goodness. That's so fun. No one likes waiting in line. That's the problem. All right, here we are. Deck four. All right, making our way up to deck six on the very front of the ship, the bow of the ship. This is incredible. There's one of the officers up there on the uh, officer deck. Carrie and I just took a few pictures in front of the bow. I do love this on the Wish, how you can just stand out here on the very front of the ship and just take in all of this that you can see around you. And this is open sometimes as well. I don't know what they use it for. They might use it for weddings or other things. Uh, you can walk around here as well, but these are also staterooms right here. I know this area is closed when it's too windy. They seem to close it at night as well. So far every night it's been closed. I'm only guessing is because they don't want to have the area all lit up. Maybe, or it's just too windy. I don't know. Either way, it's really pretty. If you know, please tell us. Yes. I think we're going to try to look for Lindsay now. She's somewhere, she said, on deck four. Probably can't see her, but we found Lindsay right over there, reading away to our heart's content. Well, now we're going to take Lindsay up, back up to deck six, where you can see out of the front of the ship. You haven't been up there? No, I have not. Nope. Well, it's really pretty. I think you could probably guess my intrusive thoughts right now. What would it be like if you used this as a slide and went off the ship? Me. Intrusive thoughts. Yeah. Down here is, um, this is the rainforest area. Yeah, no one's down there right now, so I don't mind showing the camera down there, but it is very fancy. Definitely pricey to add that to your cruise. But if that's what you want, then that's a great space to have a quiet moment kind of alone because being up here on deck six you can look right down there which is a little bit awkward I, I think i'd be willing to pay for one day's rainforest pass i don't think i'd want to get it for the whole cruise though okay it actually reminds me of on the fantasy where they have vibe like they have like a teens exclusive yeah this one's a lot fancier but it still reminds me of that yeah we love the uniqueness of how Deck four, five, and six are set up outside, but we also don't love that it's not a running track all the way around the ship. None of us run on the ship. We do enjoy going for walks all the way around the ship, so we do miss that. It's a different take on that promenade deck level space, so there are four other ships that have the other one if you prefer that too. I'm outside on the pool deck. I don't want to get lunch here because we've just had hollow brunch. Not too hungry. I still want to try Dolan's Cantina. Maybe as a pre-dinner mini meal. <laughs> but I do want to get some soft serve. You can always fit a little more soft serve in, right? In line for soft serve, and I'm looking at Goofy's Grill. And they have most of the things you find on most ships, but they also have grilled bratwurst with a soft pretzel bun. That sounds amazing, although I think I'm gonna have to pass on it for this cruise. Mango blueberry swirl, again. This definitely looks like it could be called the Tangled Swirl. It looks like Rapunzel. I don't know why, it just does. It tastes. Amazing. Might be my only soft serve of the day today because we had so much food at Apollo. I got this. I'm right below Marceline Market and they have this uh, artwork on the wall here and it shows you all the different neighborhoods of food, I guess that's what we'll call it, that you can eat at in Marceline's. Love that piece. This is the one I really wanted to show you guys that Alyssa noticed yesterday. It has all of the main characters from Encanto along with the family tree with all the characters from the movie. That is really cool. And that's the thing, you won't ever see these if you always take the elevators. So I'm so glad Carrie has us taking the stairs. All right, made it to deck five forward. We are gonna go look at Mickey's main sale. Still haven't shown you guys. Main store here on The Wish. And one of the first things, at least on the back end of the store, you see these Disney Cruise Line luggage pieces. I actually like these a lot. $200 actually for a piece of luggage is not that bad. That's actually cheaper than the level eight luggage 
that we have showed you guys in our uh, packing and travel day vlog. If you want Disney luggage, Disney Cruise Line themed luggage, these look pretty cool. And it looks like the carry-on is 150. So you got a carry-on for 150 and the bigger one for 199. And you have a lot of different Disney Cruise themed merchandise. You even have Disney Cruise themed cookie cutters. Right here you have a designer, Ashley Taylor, who's designed a lot of this, it looks like, for The Wish. I still think Carrie has not made it into the uh, store yet, but I think that would look amazing on her. I uh, don't think she's going to get it this this cruise, but I really like the look of that and the colors of that uh, spirit jersey. I wonder if Alyssa would like that. She loves bucket hats, but that's a, that's a really cool one. I like that a lot. Here they have all the 2023 merchandise. This is a really cool mug. I still haven't gotten it. Not sure if I will. It's a really nice sturdy mug. I don't know. I just like mugs that have some character and that one definitely has that and here you got a captain mini disney wish shirt love that that's awesome that they feature captain mini on a lot of different things on a lot of the merchandise in here and here you can see a bunch of lounge fly backpacks some are disney cruise themed some are other things like pirate stitch a lot of different uh options you can choose there and here are a bunch of ornaments i love the selection of ornaments they have on this cruise uh the magic didn't have too many options i don't even remember if we got one on the magic we might have but i really love these um, this is probably our favorite one because it's specific to the wish but i also do like this one we have a few other ones we have the wonder and the fantasy uh, that look like this I'm not sure if we'll get this one because we have two other ones that look a lot like it but you can tell this one's for the wish because you can see the aqua mouse uh the ramp for the aqua mouse on that i do not know if you can see these from the backlighting my favorite section of mickey's main sale the mug collection and they have a lot of mugs on board right now i am about 110 percent sure this is coming home with us if i take this home i'm gonna have four of them the only one i won't have is the dream because that's the only ship we have not been on yet i love the model of this i eventually i want to get one of these these are 50 dollars. not sure which ship we'll get it for i think we need to sail on all of them first before we decide which one we want to get here is the classic aft of the ship character featuring rapunzel and pascal uh disney wish spirit jersey carrier already has one of those for the fantasy so I'm definitely not going to get another one probably they're just very pricey if you want his and her matching shirts you got this one right here, which features all the ships, at least, that are currently uh, sailing. Then you have over here the guy's version, which is just a standard polo uh, or button-up collared shirt. More plushes over here for a lot of different Disney characters and their sailor outfits. Some pirate-themed merch, which, of course, includes Pirate Stitch, because it's not pirate merch if you don't have Pirate Stitch. You can't actually buy the Bluetooth speaker anymore on the ship. You can only pre-order it before you cruise. So as an onboard gift, you can get that... Uh, before you cruise and have it waiting for you in your stateroom uh, but you have to buy it online as an onboard gift before you cruise that's the only way you can buy those now we did not get one because we have a really great sound system on our patio for our backyard we're not going to use a small little Bluetooth speaker that floats in our pool I would just call it an overpriced Bluetooth speaker hot take maybe maybe not I don't know let me know what you think also the fancy terry cloth robe here that we also have in our stateroom these ones are probably nicer actually that is really soft and nice those are 130 dollars each if you want to know where mickey's main sale is usually i believe it's on deck four on all of the other ships but deck three is down there deck four is right there deck five is right here and that's where mickey's main sale is we found Alyssa and vibe how has your day been good what have you been doing playing games oh, okay. have you been in here the whole time much. Oh, oh yeah? I thought you were watching movies or something. Well, I'm glad you've been having fun. What'd you get? I got this because I just played trivia. Was that like vibe trivia? Oh uh, yeah. Cool. Was that a keychain? <laughs> you can put your car keys in there in know, like, you know, three years. Alyssa's disappearing into her vibe. <laughs> so well, Alyssa gave me her keychain she won. It's very nice of her. That's pretty cool. Karen and I were just talking. Glad that she is hanging out in vibe and having fun. Yeah. I ate my taco. I got a Donald's Cantina, which was amazing. I got the steak taco with the poblano, cilantro rice, and a few other toppings. And they have a lot of different like salsas you can put on there as well. I got the chipotle salsa. It was all really good. I already started packing all of my stuff. And I think I'm the first one to start. Carrie's gonna start packing pretty soon. But she is taking care of something that's also very important that we always have to do on the last day on the cruise. We write thank you cards to our 
server, head server, server, assistant server, and to our room host. And we add additional cash into their thank you card with the prepaid tips gratuities that come with it. We just appreciate them so much. We had excellent service on this trip. Excellent. I want to say I feel like it's the best we've had. We've had great service on almost every cruise we've been on. So it's, it's hard to compare because it's all been so good, but definitely excellent across the board. Amazing service. Yeah, our room uh, host has been incredible. Not just with the towel animals, but just make, making sure all our needs are met. We have everything we need. And he even, didn't he offer something about conditioner with Alyssa? Well, I mean, Alyssa and I both have curly hair, but we had, she used quite a bit of the conditioner. I asked if we could have a refill on the conditioner because she used almost the whole bottle and he refilled it and gave us another extra bottle to use because he could foresee that we would need more in the future, which is amazing because it's a large bottle. So just, you know, they anticipate your needs and they do special things and they're always so friendly. We just appreciate it and um, just everything all the service we've had on this ship has been amazing that's yeah, one of the reasons we love disney cruising yes uh, among other reasons but that's one of our top ones yeah the girls are off to see aladdin candy bye bye, bye. bye. get popcorn get candy enjoy we are staying here to pack well you're still reading i will read another chapter and then i'll pack for five minutes and i'll read another chapter and then i'll pack for five minutes that's how you do it i want to enjoy my vacation i know i want to get this part done this is my least favorite part this is all dirty clothes and there's still a bunch more in our hamper there's always a little less to pack when you're packing to go home because there's some stuff that you've used like we don't need ducks anymore but there are a few other things that are coming home with us that we bought we'll tell you all about that in our haul video which will likely be our next video after this one or maybe two videos from now we're about to go to dinner. We just finished packing and putting our bags outside with the luggage tags and everything on them. Um, our stateroom host gave us a comment card to fill out and I just want to mention it really quick. I see a lot of people putting things on uh, the Facebook groups about feeling maybe pressured to give excellent reviews and things like that. Um, if you receive excellent service, which you most likely will on a Disney cruise, please, please, please write excellent, excellent, excellent. Even if you feel a little bit like they mention it too much, it's because if they don't and they get a bad review, they 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 get in trouble. Um, we had such amazing service and we were just talking to our stateroom host. Really, we were asking him questions, so he wasn't volunteering any of this, but we found out that in the last cruise, someone gave him a poor review and he doesn't know why. He was saying how on the three and four night uh, cruises, it's really harder to track down the families because they're so busy and he really wants to be friendly with them. and. Um, but sometimes he can't find them. He, he did, I asked him, he did not volunteer this, but um, every cruise he's working on 12 different rooms. And that is so much work and they work so hard. Um, I, I was asking him before if he liked ducks cause he saw me hiding the ducks and he said, oh, if, if anyone ever gives them to me, I bring them home to my kids. So, I mean, a lot of these people have families at home and they're just working so hard to be able to provide for their families and Anyway, I just want to say, make sure you fill out your comment cards. If you have great service, write excellent, excellent, excellent. If you don't have great service, maybe just talk to them about it and see if they can fix it. Cause I think they'll want to fix it for you. Um, so I just wanted to say that because we did have one, one cruise where we didn't have the best service and, and we got it fixed. But besides that, we have always had the very best service on Disney. And the best way to say thank you is to fill out your comment card with excellent reviews and then writing their names under who made the cruise magical. Yes, 1000% agree with Carrie. Give people the benefit of the doubt too, yeah. because you never know what kind of day they're having or week they're having, or maybe the last two cruises were awful and they are trying to recover from it. Just give them the benefit of the doubt. I mean, that's a great way just to treat hu any other human. Yeah, he, he was actually telling us, he just said, thank you for being so friendly and nice. He said a lot of people just kind of ignore him. No, don't smile at him. And I was just, that makes me so sad. He's such a nice, fun guy. He made the cruise so much fun for us. And um, I mean, if you get the opportunity to interact with your stateroom host, do that because they're really friendly, awesome people. Also, tip them. Like, go, don't just do the, um, the included gratuities. That's really not all that much. If you can give extra, 
which you probably can if you can afford a Disney cruise, then you should give them extra. Definitely budget for extra if you can. We just went to Joyful Suites where um, this lady, Rosalyn, from the Philippines works. It's actually her uh, last day of her contract, like her seventh month contract, which is crazy. We're gonna miss her so much. She was so sweet and kind. And if you're watching this, thank you so much. Her face always like lit up when she saw me and she just they made my day better every time. And she always remembered your name. I know. It's so sweet. I know. I didn't get to meet her that much, but you she ate seemed less, really nice. You ate less ice cream than Lindsay? I had a lot of ice cream. That's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But. All right, so of course we wrote Rosalind's name in our comments about a crew member who made our trip magical, and we thank her so much for that. And now we are headed to dinner to see our awesome servers, give them their tips and their little thank you cards, and have our last night on the wish. <laughs> we are off to dinner at Worlds of Marvel. We're trying to track it down. I think we'll find it. It's on deck four, uh, aft. That is one of the challenges with the wish, with the new layout. Once we find a restaurant, we're good, but we've never been to Worlds of Marvel before. We haven't been inside of it. And there are some characters I was hoping to see and say hi to uh, before dinner, but we just don't have time. And I never was able to make it back to Hook's Barbary for a old fashioned. I was hoping to this afternoon, but it just didn't work out. That's the liquor cabinet that you're looking at right now for Hook's Barbary. Maybe next time on the treasure, if that's our next cruise on this type of ship. We found Worlds of Marvel. Alyssa's excited. She's the Marvel nerd in the family. Yeah. Alyssa has the uh, bread. Ooh, that looks cool. And there's some red pepper, roasted red pepper dipping sauce. Hi, I'm Scott Lang. Um, but you might know me as Ant-Man. And I am Hope Van Dyne, the Wasp. These are quantum cores, cutting edge technology that for the first time allows us to specifically target our pin particles to shrink oh, or like... grow just about anything. So we give you the direction, you push the buttons on your cores and they send a signal to the regulator here. Prepare to push your buttons. Pretty sweet, right? Oh, stop. Mm. Whoa. Whoa, what is it? What is that? That is your talisman. Oh. Yeah, I see what you mean. That's their one. We'll be back soon with more quantum core demos. The first part of the show already came on the screens, and they're showing clips of different Marvel movies all around the restaurant, which is really fun. Alyssa is mulling over whether or not she wants to get the quantum core sipper which looks a little bit like this but smaller but it holds a drink and the drink looks really good so she's trying to figure out if she wants to spend her own hard-earned money on that tough decision huh yeah. <laughs> i got a melon margarita which is midori sour with all the other margarita fixins tequila lime juice all the other things like that it's really good carrie got an amaretto sour <laughs> which she really likes because it's almost already gone uh, yeah, it, it, it is small it wasn't even full it was like to here it's gone if you've seen other videos of the disney wish you've probably already seen this it's the quantum core but in case you haven't this uh, is something you push a button right there whoop yeah, there you go. Did I shrink something? You self-destructed those. Oh yeah, you shrank something. Oh, okay. Well, hopefully our food didn't shrink. Lindsay's rolling her eyes at me. It's kind of fun. It helps you interact with the show that's happening on the screens. That's Alyssa's face after eating fish eggs. Salmon. Salmon fish eggs with her uh, shrimp. It's like soy sauce boba. It's basically what that stuff I don't like, like. I don't like soy sauce. Salty boba balls. I like soy sauce when it's very small amounts with like food, but when it's by itself, it's obviously not great. How'd you like the bun? I thought the meat was really, it tasted delicious. At least half of it or more was fat. So I wish there was more meat and less fat. But besides that, it was really good. The bun, like the bao bun, was really sweet and good. What do you think about the trip though, Alyssa? I think it was pretty good as long as you have the cocktail sauce with it. So if you like dill, then definitely get this because it tastes like dill. How's the popcorn that came with the hearts of palm? Really good. Is it like fruity or what is it? Yeah, it's like sweet, fruity. Colorful and fruity. The hearts of palm is really good. It's like like this broth that's very citrusy and cold. And cucumbers and sweet potatoes and bell peppers and pickled onions and 
um, hearts and palms. Kind of different. It's really fresh tasting. Very fresh tasting. I liked it. Oh, and the mushroom thing. Apparently it was good. I don't know. It was like um, some weird mushrooms with some like artichoke puree. Yummy. Karen and I both got the white cheddar broccolini soup. It's okay. It's not bad. It could be like cheesier and thicker maybe. And maybe even have like some like small heads of broccoli in it, but it's not our favorite. Yeah, it did have a very strong broccoli, broccoli flavor to it. For us, we'd rather save more t stomach space for uh, food to come. That guy over there is still eating? Yeah, he'll let him out. Hey, stop. What's your status? What's my status? It's super cool. We're all clear on the deck, so we'll head back to base. Hey, kid. Good job tonight. You're all clean up duty. So cool. Well, while we were watching that, dinner came. I have the tenderloin steak. Hey, it's Spider Man. It's over, Spider Man. I just missed out on my Ultimate Avengers dream team. You can always help Miss Marvel with clean up on the top deck. Or, how about I supervise the search with these nice people here? Splendid idea. Shall I play the victory playlist? You have a victory playlist? <laughs> sure, hit it. Dinner went really fast. We had the show, they were serving us our food. I, I think I might have said this like a lot of the nights, but I think tonight was my favorite night for dinner because the bow was really good. They brought the lamb from a whole other restaurant, which was crazy and amazing. It was really good, but the tender one, it was amazing. I really liked it, honestly. I think it was my favorite out of all of this. Uh, really? Cool. Yeah. And the show was really fun. Yeah. And I just really liked the show and the like uh, character interaction. Even though Spider-Man doesn't get to talk to you for that long, but like, it's fun. Yeah, so. he's flying through all of the tables. So don't expect a long interaction with Spider-Man. Yeah. But it was really fun that he came by. But it was really good and really fun. So for me, at least, I felt like this cruise on the Wish has been my favorite service and dinner-wise. All the food has been amazing. The service has been awesome. And I feel like the only thing that could have been better was um, like friends-wise, like making friends. I mean, like you can't really do anything about it. It's four night cruise and the first two, like the only day I see we had was today, which so it is kind of hard to make friends on this one. But besides that, it's been amazing. So dinner tonight was a lot of fun. It, was, it felt a little chaotic because there was a lot happening all throughout the uh, dinner, but it was it was a lot of fun. The show was really fun and entertaining. The girls are being the girls. We just told Alyssa we're going to be cutting her off from sugar when we get home. Yes, she needs less. I stepped away for 74 seconds. <laughs> Didn't see counted. Because you said you would be gone for 15. Anyways, rude. There's two sides to Rolls of Marvel, and I wanted to go to, over to the other side, and Spider-Man was also at the other side. So if you come, it looks like Spider-Man is doing the meet and greet towards the end of the meal. So don't plan to get up too soon if you want to meet and greet with Spider-Man. And it is fast. It's a really quick one. I thought it used to be the Ant-Man and the Wasp did the meet and greet, but I guess it's Spider-Man now. These children are crazy. They certainly are. We ordered dessert. It came. It's mostly eaten. That's the thing about dinner service at Worlds of Marvel. Everything just kind of happens fast. So be ready to go. Be ready to order. It, it helps to have a kid who looks at the menu multiple times and they already know what they want before they come to dinner. That'd be Lindsay. Dessert was really good. The sticky meat pudding, I think, was the best. Yes. The ice cream sundae was also really good. It was very sweet, though, but it was good. It had a little mini donut on it. it tasted like a pretty normal store-bought donut. We already packed all of the stuff up, and it's all in the hallway, ready for our stateroom host. So that's the good thing, is we don't really have anything else to do the rest of the night. We might go do something. We might just go back to the stateroom and crash. We will definitely take some pictures with our server. Yes. Our server team has been amazing. I know we've said that a number of times, but they've been incredible. Both Joseph and Lucy, as well as our head server, Ivo or Evo. They've all been amazing. 
They're playing with their Quinjet uh, origami planes that our Sir Joseph made them. Quinjet or a high heel. <laughs> or a high heel. <laughs> nice. We're walking through Bayou Lounge, wanting to show the girls Hyperspace Lounge. It is nighttime, but I did ask one of the bartenders in there if it would be okay if the girls could at least peek in because they still haven't seen Hyperspace Lounge yet. Can't wait for them to see it. Hit that green flashing button. What'd you guys think? It reminds me of uh, Galaxy's Edge. It's a little lounge, it's not big. We're gonna go look at deck four because it's very rocky and we want to see what's happening outside. So maybe it'll be warmer out there too. On this That's probably true. Aww, right. oh, sweet girls. We just walked back through the bayou to head upstairs to deck four to check out what's outside, like Harry had said. As I'm walking through the bayou, I'm realizing I never had a smoked old fashioned that I really wanted to have on this cruise. I am sad, but you can't do everything that you want to do all the time. And Carrie said she was very proud of me. So <laughs> I, I, that kind of makes me feel like it was okay, but I'm still sad I, was I missed thinking it. about those like Sunday morning specials where they have like the lesson at the end. This is your lesson. The more you know. The more you know, you can't do everything you want to do. Definitely yes. can't eat everything you want to eat. It's 10, it's 10 20 at night, and I did have a drink with dinner. If I had an old fashioned right now, that'd be a lot. <laughs> I'm sure lots of people would do that, but I'm tired. I know. Outside. Yep, all right, let's check it out. It is warm outside, that's for sure. You can see the waves, they're wavy. <laughs> the waves are waving. The waves are waving. Yeah, we heard there's a storm happening somewhere off the uh, east coast. Not really affecting us too much, but now the boat is rocking a little bit more than it's been all day, so we must be feeling some of the effects of it. Lindsay is singing aerial songs. Something's starting right now. <laughs> I was successful at the last moment. I didn't realize they had character photo ops at the end of the evening, but they did. We got a picture with Pluto. Super happy about that. The girls put up with it because they got to rest on the couches. Fun way to end our night. We might just be heading back to our stateroom to relax and have it be a nice slow night hitting the bed. We're tired. Made it back to our stateroom. We actually found the towel animal. It looks like a squid. But that's kind of fun. Never seen that one before. That's the first. Lindsay's tired. Alyssa's. I just ran up the stairs and I barely beat Alyssa. <laughs> Alyssa's bouncing off the walls. Hopefully she'll calm Quite down literally. and sleep well tonight. Carrie's really tired. So I think we're just going to end the video here. It was a great cruise. It was. A lot of fun. Also, we didn't actually have the girls say what they thought about the second time they saw Aladdin. It was really good. I like that they um, kept everything, like like all the jokes that the genie made were like very modern. They keep like updating the script. I thought it was really cool. Like they even like joked about like the Disney treasure, which like their name just came out like a, what, a week ago? Something like that, a week or two. Yeah, like, and they updated the script and it was already in there. Crazy, but it was really fun. I think it's probably my favorite. Um, of all the Disney shows? Like, all of all the Disney shows. It's really funny, and it's very, like, interactive, like, with the genie and his jokes and all that stuff. Yeah, the genie does a great job. We want to say goodnight from the Disney Wish, and thank you so much for watching all these videos. There's only four of them, but we had a lot of fun on this cruise, and we enjoyed sharing a little bit of it with you. Our next video, I think, is going to be our haul video from The Wish and all the things we got on board. We didn't get a ton of stuff, but we did get some things. Also, some of the stuff that we got like while we we're in Georgia, in Tennessee, which we loved that part of our trip too. We also have a video coming out about our day. <laughs> it was only a few hours, maybe an hour, I think when we went to Bucky's in Georgia as well. So we'll have a separate video for that as well. So we can't wait to share it with you too. We will see you guys really soon. Take care, have an amazing week. Bye. Bye.